Well, there was a question in SketchUp on the layout, how to set uh, your views. I have a sample model that's unfinished. We have the front view, right, back, and left. There are two kinds of views in SketchUp. That's the perspective view and the parallel projection. Parallel projection where all vertical lines are parallel. How do you access the views? We have a toolbar called Views. You can access it by right-clicking, looking for Views. Isometric, top, front, right, back, left. How to set it to parallel? Click on Camera, Parallel Projection. I have my shortcut, so I won't be showing it all throughout. But some of you might have styles with the ground. You could edit it in Styles. I will be choosing shaded with texture since I don't want to see the sky and I will turn off my axis so I will not see the coordinates. I would like a view from the right that's in the parallel projection. I'll save that by clicking on view, animation, add scene. In my case it's shift 1. So whatever view I'm working on and I would want to go to the right side elevation. I click on scene 4 and it goes back there. I would like a view that's also isometric. So instead of going back to view, I could also right click scene 4 and add a scene. So I know that scene 4 is my right view and scene 5 is my isometric view. To also rename that by right clicking and clicking on scenes. Scene 5 isometric and scene 4 is front. Oops. Okay, now I have uh, some of the basic idea. I could save this and go to uh, maybe let's save one more view that's a perspective view, not parallel. Maybe like this aerial view. I could save the model and send to layout. Or in my case, since my layout is already open, I could just insert the model through file. Insert, click on the model, and bring it in. We could have this in uh, vector mode, which will make the lines easily seen, but no materials will be shown. So there are two ways to scale, first it's by dragging it, as long as the preserve scale is not checked, you could scale the model in layout, or in AutoCAD terms, the viewport. You could also choose the scale by going to SketchUp model, 1 is to 100, or if you don't see this, right click, scale, 1 is to 100. I could copy the viewport by holding control and putting it in another place. I would like the view here to be the isometric view. So we saved our scene a while ago. Right click, scene, isometric view. Or here, ISO. Unless it's not saved. We have to check if it's not moving, maybe the model. Okay, I have another model. Okay, uh, whatever changes you have in the model, you have to click update if it's not automatically updated. So this scene was supposed to be front. This is uh, isometric. And the third one will be aerial. Right click, scene aerial. If you don't want to right click, it's also available up here. Now I see that the scale is too big for the paper space. So I could make the scale lower, or I could double click the viewport and zoom out. And the problem with this is, if I would like to scale it bigger and my preserved scale is unchecked, it's gonna make the model just bigger. So I would just like to see the edges, I click on Preserve Scale, 
and extend the borders. And from there I would like to make it smaller. Now you have a parallel projection, an isometry, and a perspective. Now I click on T for text. will be the, the aerial perspective and the isometric view. You could right click if your text box keeps, keeps on locking onto objects. You can uncheck object snap, grid snap. I would like to hide the grid to see how it prints onto the page. Let's say like this thing, I don't want it to be going over so I could click on the preserve scale and just lessen the border. I could also trim this by putting a shape over it, clicking both shape and the model and create a clipping mask. But we'll go to that maybe next questions. So to add dimension, D or dimension. Could also edit the dimension style, whatever is related to dimension. Okay. Say it like that. What happens with object snap and vector? I would like to go to hybrid because I would like to put some shadows on. Right click, shadows or access the shadows from here. 1.30 p.m. Let's make this around 12 p.m. It's too dark. How about 10.30 a.m.? Oh, there. Copy the settings. I could paste it on the other viewports as well. File, save, uh, export, PDF or image, and you can set the resolution for printing. Thanks!